Yeah, well, just ask me the question. Yeah, I'm just asking about um, workplace reforms. Um, okay. Wh whether, what, what, how you think the community feels about workplace reforms and what impact they've had in the in the in the area? Okay. Um, I haven't had a single person contact my electorate office um, in any way unhappy with um, their arrangements with their employer mm -hmm. or the way in which they work. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason that that's happening is that <clears throat> IR is uh, working, uh, the government's IR changes are working to benefit employees and employers simultaneously. Mm -hmm. um, the, the way we work has changed. More and more people don't want a full-time job. They might want a couple of part-time jobs. They want to work different hours. Uh, because they want to meet their family responsibilities. Um, they don't want to find themselves in a position where an employer won't employ them on the weekend because the penalty rates are too high and they miss out on a job and they want to work. They don't want to be told how they'll work by some central court in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, things are going very well. Okay. In, in terms of a uh, when we've got a very strong economy, Employers don't sack employees because their best asset is the employee. So none of that's going on. The, the best demonstration of how effective work choices has been is that there's been over 350,000 new full-time jobs since work choices was, was introduced. Nobody's pay has been cut. Nobody's been fired. But that was what the Labor and uh, the uh, the Labor Party and the unions were saying. If, 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 I mean, do you think people will be um, as happy about it if if there is um, an economic downturn some 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 way down the track? Um, I don't think there's going to be any change. Uh, uh, and um, um, there was another point I was going to make to you. Just went on. Oh yes, I know. Um, the the overriding principle of work choices is this. Mm -hmm. um, Australia has a very high standard of living. Mm -hmm. We can only maintain high wages and a high standard of living by making sure we are as productive as we can be and as competitive as we can be. But if we return to the old system as Labor is proposing, going back 30 years, mm -hmm. what they're actually saying is we're going to export, all of our jobs are going to go overseas where somebody can do the job cheaper, even though the productivity is not as good, uh, and there will be a flood of jobs, Australian jobs, go out of Australia, and that's why uh, uh, it's very important um, that we have a, um, a modern industrial relations system. I, I talked to your, uh, your opponent, I suppose your main opponent, there's obviously a few candidates there, but um, George Colburn, and he said that in his conversations with, with local business people, they had... Um, Expressed satisfaction with with the the system that pertained before, and, and said that they understood it more a bit more clearly than um, than work choices. Well, he's um, he's having you on because uh, with a single, ideally, Australia should have a single national system uh, rather than a state based and a fed and a federally based system. Obviously, that works more efficiently and is easier to understand, is easier for employers to work in. Um, but more than that. Employers and employees want flexibility. George Colburn wants Australia to go back 30 years to the past where there wasn't the flexibility in the IR system uh, because it was dominated by the unions. Well, hello, the world's moved on. Australia has had to move on. Uh, with all the great reforms the Howard government's done, we've been proved to be right every time. We are right uh, now. If the Labor Party get back in, they'll, uh, they'll just wreck it all again. Okay, um, just on, I mean, as, as you would know, again, uh, Townsville's a, a very fast-growing city. It's it's the third uh, fastest-growing um, local government area outside the southeast, and um, my figures say 2,000 people a year move there. Uh, how, uh, in, in terms of that demographic change, how, how is that affecting housing affordability, and, and, and um, how, what, what steps are you taking to address housing, housing affordability in the, in the region? I've spoken to um, mortgage brokers about mm -hmm. this issue, mm -hmm. and I say, is there a um, mortgage crisis? They say yes. Why is that so? And they say, because young people today are financially illiterate. 
they say um, they um, uh, they decide they're going to get themselves a home. They go out and they pick something that's worth four hundred thousand dollars. They then attempt to borrow the entire amount without any deposit, and on top of that, they borrow the money for the plasma TV and the U-Butte sound system, uh, and give no thought to what happens if the uh, female partner might want to have a family, and they get themselves into strife. Uh, and so you're saying it's 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 the fault of the the, the borrowers themselves, the, the housing affordability. No, no, I'm not laying blame. I'm just stating the facts. <laughs> All right. Um, so I don't want to be backed into that corner. No. Um, I, I'm just saying that um, in years gone by, um, uh, people were more responsible. They would, um, and I remember in my own case, um, we sat on milk crates in the um, in the lounge room until we could afford chairs. Uh, we had. Uh, makeshift shelves to put ornaments on and so on but mm. you did that in those days you you waited till you could you didn't live beyond your means and you didn't try to keep up with the joneses um things were more responsible and uh, now the other answer to your question of course is that um often the in in uh, in the price of uh, land and houses there's up to $120,000 worth of taxes mainly state taxes that certainly is a way, if they were addressed, that you could afford, uh, you could change um, house affo home affordability. Uh, another way that you can do it is look at the uh, amount of land being released onto the market, uh, because land is is very ex a very expensive commodity uh, because it's in short supply. And uh, I note that the state government has finally agreed to have a look at releasing more land on the Baldy Plains. And, of course, at Rocky Springs, we've uh, got the opportunity to release up to 50,000 lots there. Uh, and that's another way that you can uh, positively um, address the cost of uh, uh, the affordability of houses.